<sighs> Let's go to the caves, I suppose. Is there anything in this room? Yes, there is. Then it's murder time. <laughs> is it worth killing things? Then everything will die. Is it not? Then I will just fly past everything mindlessly. Because it seems more effective. And seems to cost less stuff. Because these guys are not overly keen on dropping power-ups. Like, I wouldn't have minded a few more, but maybe that's just one of the consequences of hardcore difficulty. I wouldn't know. I've never played this game before. I don't even know what the difficulties do, but so far I'm I'm pretty okay with this difficulty because I am actually dying every now and then, which I think is pretty cool. I do hope this is not the only power-up in this room, but the one in the right over there, because I saw it blink. I, I saw you right there. I took a lot of damage there, but that's okay. I don't need health. It wasn't the only one. Okay, cool. There was a reason to all my murdering. <laughs> all my punching. These poor innocent robots, which are only trying to hurt my... My nice feelings. It didn't say room cleared, and that bothers me because I thought I went everywhere. Oh, no. I was wrong. Hey, booster module. Soon we'll be able to fly ever so slightly quicker than previously. And I'll be like, yeah, that's me. I am ever so slightly flying faster, girl. And I am taking care of business. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, exactly. We're not taking damage. We're rescuing the world from robots, which are all confined to this place. Where is this, anyway? Is this like Mojo Jojo's big tower of evil, or is this just a place that happens to have robots? Oh, sweet. That was actually exactly what I needed right now. <laughs> That was pretty much all I could possibly ask for. A health up. <laughs> because my health was looking a little bit silly. Is there anything in this room? Nope. But there are those two things, and I want both of them. Because I want to shoot more fireballs at everything. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to burn every one of these robots until they tell me where the final boss is, and then I'm going to punch him in the face. And then I'm going to be like, yep, and that's the game. And, and then I will be known as Hero of Townsville. And everyone will be pretty pretty happy. Hopefully. They'll be like, yep, that just happened. We were in trouble, but now we are not. Thank you, Gar. The best power up girl. Hmm. There's another one down. I need that health power up, but I'm picking them both up anyway because I'm not confident in my ability, which is odd. <laughs> because I'm taking a lot of damage in this game. But there were a lot of them, and I didn't want to go back anymore. God, these fireballs are just the destroyers of worlds. And especially robot worlds. No problem indeed. You are just incredibly powerful. Booster module! Yay! This leads to more rooms, but the right one looks the most like a dead end, so I'm going there first. Because this might be a safe room. And it is. My logic works for a change. And this is a wall. <laughs> I thought I could just go behind that chain link fence, but apparently it's a wall. Look at me fly. Like, flying past things seems to be a lot easier than actually fighting them, and I can't go through that door. Maybe there's another boss here. Nope. Just a block, which blocks me from going... Oh, no, wait, there is another door there. That looks like an elaborate bunch of doors. Dash bash! Damage enemies and break blocks. Ooh. Break. Uh... Oh, I actually need to go forward. Fair enough. That makes sense, I suppose. <laughs> Changing direction in this game is hard, okay? In a lot of games, you just press right and you look right. In this game, you look backwards, which has absolutely no effect <laughs> at all. So, in the end, I'm, I'm not really sure why. I just don't know why, but whatever. There, call. Cartoon Network chooses in which direction my Powerpuff Girls are looking at, and that's, that's how it's going to be. I'm gonna dash into that guy. Boom. That was ineffective. <laughs> Poor robots, that's right. Enemies clear. Oh, whoa. Don't be mean. I just want the power module. Where do I go now? That leads back again. Everything leads back again, really, in, in a sense. Could I, was the top left there blocked by a block? Was it the block block, or was it another block block? There's a lot of different types of blocks in this game, but there's a block over there. And I know there's a save room up here, 
And I'm going there first because I want to save my progress. Please change. There we go. Man, I'm learning how to fly with my fist forward. I'm learning how to punch things. This game is teaching me so many things. I never learned how to jump, though. But I can fly, so I guess that sort of compensates for all of it. Let's go to that place and see if it's a place where we can go now. If only I had infinite memory. That would be so cool. Hey, we can actually go here. Sweet. The factory? No. More of this. Oh, no, <coughs> there's no end, no power-ups here. So let's continue. Door is locked. Clear the room to... Oh, man. I've been trapped. Trapped by the vicious army of circles. Only Mojo Jojo has the power to create this many circles. No one else has the technology and the sheer intelligence to make so many round and spiky things at the same time. The city of Townsville is under great peril by Circle Man. No one knows why everything's round. Only someone of such great intelligence as Mojo Jojo will be able to explain as to why everything is why it is the way it is. But that's okay, because we're so strong. Boom! And we're running out of enemies. Boom, 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 boop, 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 boom. There we go. There's still more. Where are you hiding? Where are you hiding, monsters? Oh, there you are. <laughs> That's probably the only one who's actually still alive. Boom. All doors unlocked. I wonder if that means that I can get to that power thingy. Because there is still a bunch of force fields everywhere. Hmm. Where is the anti-force field thingamaji? Because I want the anti-force field thingamaji. <laughs> But I cannot see it unless it's like over there or something. No. Maybe I, I'll get an ability to get rid of force fields? Maybe it's my fist. No, it's it's very much not my fist and that actually hurt quite a lot. Oh, but there's a save room here. So that sort of makes that room worth it, I guess. Please tell me I don't have to kill everything again. Wow, it's the first room where everything stays dead. I guess because it's otherwise locked, but... It's nice to have just an empty room for a change, I'm not gonna lie. Makes for a nice change of pace to just have a room where I can fly without fearing for my life the entire time. Another force field. There's a lot of force fields here and... Can't really go anywhere in this place. Makes me sad. That looked like a boss health bar. Bubbles is trapped. I can't actually see her right now, but I assume that I'm correct about this statement. Oh god, Am I, is she being trapped by these guys? Because there's a lot of projectiles here right now. Like, is is the boss just a whole bunch of enemies? Because that's that's fine, I suppose, but... I would have preferred if they dropped more health. But you can't... I suppose you can't really ask the enemy, Yeah, can you drop this power-up instead? That would be more useful to me. They, for some reason, don't tend to listen to that nonsense. Okay, well, this is gonna take a while. Boom, boom, boom. And we sw swim. We swim to the other side. We swim through the air. Well, this is gonna take a little bit of time. But we'll, we'll get there, I suppose. I wonder what you're gonna have to do when you run out of energy, though. Oh, God. You could probably just be, like, in a certain position with the wave beam and you won't have to worry about anything, but... I'm just gonna do it like this because this seems to be a reasonably fast way of doing things. Oh, jeez, that's hard to dodge, though. Watch me die now, and then I have to do all of this over again and I'll be really sad. But it does look like Bubbles is gonna be safe once more! Yeah! Yeah! Power pumps reunited! Yeah! What's happening in my brain? <laughs> Bubbles, you should know how to use all your powers now. Enough talk, girls. We've got an appointment with a monkey. We do? Yeah, Mojo's got some major payback coming. Mm. Well, that's good too. Bubbles just sees Mojo Jojo as another person. Ice Barrage! I'm sure this will help me in some way. And it saved the game the moment I destroyed that boss, which is pretty cool. Is there anything in his room other than just save? No. Then I will leave. I quite... Oh, I really actually like the way that blue trail looks, though. Looks quite nice. This isn't 
Overly... <laughs> this isn't overly effective, but, you know... Bubbles is adorable, so it's fine. Maybe I can use this to get rid of force fields. I don't know why that would work, but I'm just gonna try it anyway. Hey! My logic makes sense if you just guess mindlessly. I might... I'm tempted to just go through certain rooms again and just get stuff, because there's a whole bunch of rooms right now where there's just an exclamation mark, and I have so many abilities right now. Um... So I'm actually gonna do that. I'm gonna just gonna fly to every single room which has an exclamation mark, and I'm gonna get all those goodies. And people will be like, "That's gonna take forever," and I'll be like, "Yep, but that's okay. It's my playthrough. I can do what I want, <laughs> and I want things." I guess I have to hit it a couple times before it actually disappears entirely. Maximum power increased. That means I can save the game. Because I picked up a thing, and I took a whole bunch of damage by flying into a force field. I wonder if force fields stay gone the moment you get rid of them. That would be pretty sweet. Because then I don't have to worry about anything in this room. I just fly through it like an angel. And Bubbles is pretty much the angel of the group. I'm really not losing much energy by flying, so maybe I was just completely wrong about that. Um, hmm. Let's go... Let's go to the caves. I'm going to the caves. That's where I'm going. We're going on a flying trip. And first destination is a bunch of caves with things in it. Once I remember how I actually get there. And I miss the door entirely. Go me. But there we go. I don't need memory. I have a map. And a map tells me everything. I don't need knowledge of things. I just fly mindlessly with my face. I use my face for flying to places. And sometimes, I don't die. Oh, that door is closed. Maybe this one will take me to the cave as well? Yeah, it does. And there's an immediately health right there. See, it was totally worth it, you guys. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. I went through the door. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Was kind of waiting for that thing to explode, but oh well. Uh, please get out. I want to hit that. Is it actually still? Yeah, there is something in this room still. So there is actually a point to destroying all these things. There's so many projectiles when you play as Bubbles, though. Look at that. Bubbles may be cute, but man, she has the projectiles of someone who's out for blood. Icy blood. I'm kind of weird. It's weird that she gave her the ice attack because I, I remember that like Blossom had like ice breath or something. And I don't actually remember her having anything to do with fire, but I might just be like forgetting stuff from this show because it's been like 400 years since I last saw it. And that's very possible. Like, it's very, very possible that I'm just forgetting things, but I never really pictured Bubbles as the one to have ice. And I find it strange. Okay, left, right, left, uh, and then just keep going right forever because there's just doors everywhere there. And that's pretty much a cave. Did I just say it right, left, right, and then me go to your left and say... No, left, right, left. I'm just actually bad at directions is what I'm doing. Yeah, take that, floor. Man, this place is not nearly as scary when you can fly and punch things and destroy the world with the vast amount of destruction I have at my disposal now. <laughs> Fortunately, we're a hero, so it's fine if we destroy everything because these things are made by super villains. Eh. Maximum health increased. And there's still things, so I guess we're out for blood. There we go. Where does this go? It goes back there again. That's not exciting. That's not what I want. That's boring. So instead, we destroy. We find everything there is to find and fly into it mercilessly with our fists of fury. Ooh. One more for another booster slot, and I want that faster flight thing. Because that sounds pretty cool. This doesn't seem to go anywhere. Nope. There's a door here, though. And a room. But that room doesn't actually have anything in it from the looks of things. But I'm going to look around here a little bit just to see. Yeah, this is just a small room that connects the other rooms. But there is still some collectible stuff in here. In here. There we go. Which I guess is just going to be another room of kill everything. There we go. Enemies cleared. Oh, there's just a heart. Yeah. That's cool, though. Hearts are sweet. 
What is that, though? How do I get there? I want that big circle. <laughs> um, okay, I guess I am actually gonna have to go through that other room then. That seems to be the quickest way to get there. If not the only way. And that is a big circle that I want in my life. That circle might be a thing to something useful. And I love useful things. And that was really easy. <laughs> Power attacks? That sounds amazing. That sounds much better than, like, faster flying or whatever. And I have to remember that these are mines and actually hurt quite a lot, because damage again. You need to stop being a silly billy and actually just destroy things the way they intended and the way so I won't actually die a lot. Yeah, way he he. Oh, man, you are scaring me, though. These are the scariest circles of the game so far. Because they're so small and they just look like the other ones, but it's like, no, actually we explode for a million damage. And we don't care if you don't have energy, we're just not gonna give you any power-ups either. Boom. We are destroyers of worlds right here. Oh. Nyeh. Running out of enemies here though, so I'm guessing soon enough. I will get the room cleared! Have another booster thing! And then they can equip power attacks, which... Are hopefully very powerful. Oh, yeah. Booster module. You can equip two boosters at once now. Worth it. Let's see. Do more damage with all attacks. Yeah, that sounds a little bit better than what I previously had. Uh, well, might as well save the game now. We got a lot of stuff there. Uh, and then I'll probably just go there in the middle. Maybe I'll actually just fast forward through this flying because it's basically just going to be me flying past all the enemies while looking at the map every two seconds. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do that. I made it to the room and there is a yellow thing and I'm not actually sure if I can get through that right now. I mean, I do have a lot of powers, but what if I can't get to the switchy switch? We'll find out soon enough, I suppose, huh? I'm just gonna punch everything first, and maybe that'll somehow open the way to our next ability. And I'll be so happy you could hear me squee. And I don't squee very often. Hmm, looks like there's a door there, though. And I'm actually gonna have to fly all the way around. I'm actually not sure if I can go through that door. Hmm. The hunt is on. We find out shortly if I can do the thingy thingy or if I cannot do the thingy thingy. And this is that weird save room with all the enemies in it. <laughs> Which seems like an odd place to have a save room in a game like this, but... I don't know, that's their choice, I suppose. I wonder what would happen, though, if you, like, fly into that the moment you die. Like, would you actually survive, or... Would the game be mean and destroy you? without prejudice. And that's just a really easy way to get here, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. Charge attack, hold. Um, hold down, attack. Oh, there we go. Oh man, look at this. Eh. Whoa! That's a million projectiles. That's amazing. I didn't know how much it actually cost to use that because the stuff was in the way, but you know. I'll just do it again with the other character. Boom! Whoa! Oh, that is awesome! Look at that! Oh, this is the best charge attack I've ever seen in one of these games. That is awesome. I love that very much. And I'm going to that exclamation mark because it's the last one. I don't think I can actually continue in the factory right now. Because that seemed like a very dead end. But I can't actually go up though. After I've gone to that particular exclamation mark right there which is pretty close by and might as well save since we're going past one of these save rooms anyway why not why not ah bubbles you're the only one with the force the touch the power the power to win the power to do stuff man i just want to use my i, I should try out my charge attack with uh blossom actually thinking about it I wonder if it goes through walls. I hope so. Otherwise, this is kind of a waste. 
It does not go through walls, but it is still pretty sweet. Boom. And there's the lock. Enemies cleared. And the fight is over already, even though Bubbles apparently didn't want it to be over yet. Where am I? Huh. This is actually a place where I haven't been yet, so I might as well explore a little bit here. See what's going on. Oh, hey, this actually leads to the same place. Sweet. I kind of want to go to the place that sort of links up to two places, though. Ow. Clear the room to exit. That means that the enemies will actually stay gone here. And I am perfectly okay with doing that, then. Come on. Charge it. Charge it. Charge it. Shoot it. Aw, yeah. Nice. Bubbles is actually Oprah Winfrey. Which makes sense. They're pretty similar in character. They're both adorable. And they can both fly and fight evil. And they can throw bees at people. So, all in all, it's pretty similar characters. All doors unlocked. Aw, yeah. I'm going to the left. Whoa, that room's big. Look at that. There's like 400 doors in that room. That's going to be the... That's even a better reason to actually go back here first, just because I have to deal with that later. <laughs> oh god, that's gonna take forever, but that's fine though. Because we got the touch, the power. I, I have no idea what you said, but it sounded adorable nonetheless. And that's what matters. As long as you're adorable, you can do whatever you want, Bubbles. <laughs> Come on. Nothing as adorable as fighting robots. And wave beams. Wave beams are also adorable. Booster module! Give me that. Eight more. And from the looks of things, if I have eight more, that'll actually be the maximum. Because I'm at 12 already out of 20. It's nice that it actually tells you how many you can pick up. Maybe there will be more and that you just can't pick them up from that point on. But I'm guessing there are just 20 of them because... Well, I already have all three girls. I wonder how many abilities I have at this point. A fair amount. <laughs> There's only five left from the... based on that screen, so... Let's just keep going. Let's keep it up. Let's just punch stuff. And destroy things. And wave beam it up. I wonder if... Uh, I guess the other attacks will probably actually have... Uh, like, how does energy... Ah, oh, look at that. My eyes are glowing. That is awesome. I love that there's all these different attacks though. It's pretty sweet. One more to increase max health. Sweet. And uh, I guess we're just going up. It'll probably lead to these to that gigantic room anyway. So I might as well take the other door. God, it's nice to be able to go everywhere now though. It's, uh, it's always sad in these types of games where you'll see a door and it's like, when can I go there? And then like four hours later, later you'll actually be able to go there. And it's like, where are all the rooms again? At least this game does a pretty good job at actually telling you which rooms still have stuff in it. It kind of does it the same way as um, Zero Mission, like Metroid Zero Mission, which uh, just shows an icon on the map if it's if you've gotten everything there, and if you haven't gotten everything there, it shows a different icon. And that's pretty cool. Enemies cleared. God, I am running out of energy for from all these battles, though, but... What ifs? It's fine. Maybe there's a save room over here. Maybe there's a save room over here? Maybe there's a save room over here? There's not a save room over here. Oh, that's unfortunate. Wishful thinking, I suppose. Oh, no. Wee! <laughs> oh, God. I love these characters, though. They're great. I need energy. I'm guessing there's probably some of these boxes just always. Yeah, there we go. Let's stand here for a moment. <laughs> don't want to be close to that. I always forget which ones explode and which ones don't, but I guess the ones that don't actually do anything are more likely to explode than the ones that actually fly in my face like that. Not even close. Not even close. And give me that. I need that so much right now. Is there anything else left in this room? No. Looking for those save rooms, but not getting any. Might as well clear this room just for the sake of it, because there's only one enemy left. We might as well. Hey! That was exactly what I was looking for. Boom. Ah! God, that was that's startled me. I should be aware that there's just enemies everywhere at this point, but still scares me sometimes, you know? Doors locked, clear the room to exit. Fair enough. 
I'm guessing this is not like the end of the game yet just because there's the factory which I can't really go to yet but it has shown me a little preview that the area exists another perfect knockout more like another perfect fire at everyone everyone will burn and brother cups like yep power up girls to the rescue there's an invisible ceiling over here that is cool you get it they're toast because everything is on fire it's a pun. Uh, I'll pick up the health power up up there later. I'm just gonna make sure everything's gone first. Because the doors are locked for a brief moment. I forgot why I was doing this, but then I remembered. And health power up. Okay, there's only one door here. I guess we're going over there. I keep just mashing into every door. That I kind of... I'm guessing, like, I wouldn't be surprised that when I finally actually have, like, the third slot for the, like, the booster things, it'll be like, oh, yeah, and by the way, here's a power-up to just insta-kill everything in the room. Might be a bit more useful than flying faster, wouldn't it? Hmm. But it only works if you have these two other things equipped. Hmm. I will never fly faster. <laughs> Because I'm scared of taking damage because I already take a fair amount of damage right now. And that's with the reduced, like, damage and everything. Ugh. Is there still stuff? Yep, there is. Then everything shall burn. When in doubt, fire. And when in more doubt, more fire. Until everything has burned. And then, <laughs> then Blossom will be like, yep, everything is safe. If things are hot, then it's safe. If they're cold, then they need to be on fire. Booster module. 